Hey everyone, it's been a long time since my last video, but I just kind of thought of a topic that I wanted to do a little piece on. Um, first, let's show you what I've been eating. This morning I had a cantaloupe. It was the best cantaloupe I've ever had in my life. I had six kiwis. Here I have some banana smoothie I'm finishing, and that's it so far. Tonight, I'm so excited. I'm planning to make, like, taco-less tacos. <laughs> like, I don't really eat, like, refined foods, you know? Um, so, there's really not, like, I guess you could make a raw taco, but I don't have a dehydrator, I don't really, I don't do nuts or seeds, so it'd be like a lot of work, I'm not sure what I'd make out of, but anyway, so instead of putting it in a tortilla or anything, I'm just going to make like some rice, some black beans, which I'm soaking right now, um, I'm going to dice up some sweet potato and like fry that in a pan, some cauliflower, and then obviously like, you know, the spices, like some chili and cumin and stuff like that, I don't do onions or garlic anymore, and the food still tastes good, and my hair is jinked up on this side. <laughs> anyway, so that's a plan that I'm like uber excited. I haven't had rice in a week now, I think, and feeling really good without it, but um, I feel good when I eat it too. I don't have any issues with the grains or anything. I know some people do, which obviously if you do, then don't eat them, but personally, I do fine, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so the topic I want to talk about, let me just bring up, I have on my computer, like, a little, um, document where I keep, like, ideas for talks, <laughs> and, um, let me just bring that up, that way I can refer to it, and talk to you. Ah, okay. Here it is. So I often get asked why we people can eat animals if we're herbivores because, um, you know, like as a vegan, people always ask me like, you know, well, we can eat animals, so we should. And I try and tell them like, yes, we can eat them, but we have no physical necessity to eat them. So why choose to eat them, you know, over not eating them? So, people then ask me, well, like, but we're omnivores, not herbivores, so, as, because we can eat them, so we must be omnivores, but that's not what an omnivore really is. We're herbivores, and I'm not going to get into some, like, eight-year explanation of how we're herbivores. The information is out there. I could do a, a separate talk, but really, why hear me talk about it when you could listen to, like, plenty of talks? I could link them below, just simply laying out how we're herbivores. So, to answer the question, why can we eat animals if we're herbivores, um, I kind of have an explanation thought out somewhat that I think is pretty clear cut using basic, like, biological principles. So, if you've ever taken, like, a biology, environmental, you know, class, etc., you have probably learned about um, you know, food chains, energy transfers, trophic levels, you know, uh, producers, consumers, you know, et cetera, primary, secondary, tertiary, et cetera, you know, that kind of model. And we know that there are some animals that are carnivores, like, for example, lions. And there are some animals that are herbivores, like cows, and then there are some animals that are omnivores, like dogs and bears. And people um, say to me, like, well, like a lion, for example, they have to eat meat, which is true. They have to eat meat in order to survive, and they can't live off of plants alone. But they can eat plants, you know, like they can eat grass and like some stuff and not die or anything like that. But they can't live off of that because they wouldn't be able to sustain themselves nutritionally. Just like if we just ate meat, we couldn't sustain ourselves nutritionally. 
But then people ask me, well, okay, well then why can we eat meat if you can't like survive off of it for a long period of time? And I think it all has to do with the transfer of energy and the transfer of nutrients. That's really the key core. Because, okay, so I'm kind of reading what I wrote. So carnivores, for example, they don't have the enzymes necessary to synthesize certain vitamins, like, for example, beta-carotene. Beta-carotene is found in plants, like, for example, carrots. They have beta-carotene in them. And a lion can't eat a carrot and get vitamin A, but a herbivore can. So when we eat carrots and consume that beta-carotene, our body can make vitamin A from that, whereas a uh, carnivore would have to eat an herbivore which has already synthesized that vitamin for them and then when the carnivore eats that animal it gets the vitamins from the organ meats because lions eat the organ meats we humans choose to eat the muscle tissue and obviously we get some other bits and stuff but like we don't typically eat organ meats but we can eat organ meats and get vitamin A from it but why would you choose to do that when you could just eat the plant itself because one of the basic laws of biology is that for every time you go up a trophic level every time you have that energy transfer you lose 90 percent of the quality energy so why would you want to eat uh, organ meat to get your vitamin a when you could just eat carrots to get vitamin a well to get beta carotene and make vitamin a rather but you understand what i'm saying so why make that choice Another example of this, besides just like beta carotene, for example, would be omega 3s. A lot of people don't know, but plant foods have omega 3s and 6s in them, not just nuts and seeds, but like fruits and vegetables, grains, legumes, like they have omega 3s and 6s in them. And when we eat plants, we get the omegas that we need from them. Like, people often worry, like, oh my gosh, you're not getting enough omegas because you don't eat nuts and seeds. But if you, if you actually look at how much I'm getting, I get a perfectly fine amount. But the misinformation comes from the, unfortunately, the food industries and stuff that want to make money who are telling you, no, you need like 600 milligrams a day or something like that. Buy this pill, buy this flaxseed oil, buy this fish oil. And in reality, you don't need that. And they often have an inappropriate proportion of omega-3s to 6s. I think it's usually like they have 4 to 1, so like 4 times the amount of omega-3 to omega-6s, which apparently, I'm sorry, that's the optimal proportion. But often they don't have that proportion. They have a different proportion, which isn't good. I'm not exactly sure why. I really haven't read into it because <laughs> you get everything you need from plant food. So I don't worry sitting around being like, oh, my God, am I getting omegas? Like, no, that's not something I need to waste my time on. But, like, I know the, that there is information and studies out there. If you are interested in it, look it up. It's pretty interesting. So back to the omegas is, you know, people think, well, you can't be vegan. You, you need omegas. You have to eat fish. But what they're not realizing is that those fish got them from plants because there are plants in the ocean, like, you know, kelp and stuff, that, an herbivorous, uh, an, uh, that's an interesting word to say, herbivorous, herbivorous fish eat, they consume it, they have omega-3s now in their body, well, then, you know, another fish may eat them, a fish that's omnivorous or carnivorous, and then we eat that fish, so now we get omegas, which are highly concentrated because it's moved up the food chain, which is why also, when you eat tuna and other high, fish that are high in the food chain, you also get a big dose of concentrated mercury because it's just been moving on up. But the point is you get a big dose of omega-3s and people think, oh, that's really good for you and that's what you need and that's why you have to eat fish. When in reality, you could just eat the plants and get the omegas and you'd be getting a much more, like, you know, reasonable amount than this huge amount that you don't need. They, you, people need to realize, you know, that obviously fish industries, you know, cattle industries, etc. they want you to buy their product, and they want to make money, so of course they're going to market it as, like, really awesome, and in reality, it's BS. So basically, the point is that the reason why we can eat meat is because we can derive nutrition from it, because the meat that we're eating is from animals who have eaten the plants that we should be eating. I mean, if you eat a cow, it's eaten 
you know, plants, and it's made these vitamins, not, obviously not all the vitamins, if you, like, we have to eat plants to survive, we couldn't be carnivores, everyone knows that, but, like, they do eat a lot of things and have nutrients in them, so, yeah, we can eat them and get some vitamin A or, you know, s some other vitamins, like, B12 is a big one, which is made from bacteria, but anyway, so, yeah, we could eat meat and get some vitamins, but why choose to do that when you could just eat the plants and get them directly there? A carnivore obviously doesn't have the luxury of just choosing to eat the plants, you know, because he can't synthesize the enzymes himself. So he has to eat the animal who's eating the plants. So I think that that is a pretty succinct explanation of why we can eat animals and derive nutrients from it. But it also shows why we don't need to eat animals because we can get all our nutrients from plants. So thanks for watching, and I'm going to try to start making r videos more regularly. I know this is like my first video in a long time. I'm just super, super busy with school. Um, this is my final year, so I'll be graduating soon, and we have papers and, you know, presentations, projects, etc. So try to keep you updated. Um, there's a lot of exciting stuff in the future in terms of just things I want to talk about, things I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be going to Austria this summer, which I'm really excited for, so I'm definitely going to, I have a, I actually got a video camera, um, so I'm going to be trying to use that. I didn't, I don't have it with me, so I could um, use it for this video, but in the future I'm going to be using it, and I'm going to take it to Austria, which will be pretty awesome. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I don't remember if, <laughs> I know I came up with a tagline, like a sign-off, but I can't remember what it is. So... Peace. <laughs>